What's up everybody, welcome back to Meet at Gaming. My name is Roland, this is the best channel that nobody watches except a few special people like yourselves. And today we're going to be continuing the Hungarian campaign in 1177. I'm laughing because as I do this intro, my wife was just today making fun of me. For yesterday, I think, or one of these past days where I was quite tired but I still wanted to record something so the intro was so fucking lifeless <laughs> okay let's go ahead and see if we can um, take some lands in the east and keep the west happy now if I'm gonna roleplay this campaign I'm gonna go against the Romans if I wanna piss against the wind I'm gonna go against the west my problem is that going against the papal state in my spot is too much, too much. It's just too much. Um, and so I have decided to keep an eye on the fighting between these two and try to chip off some, some land from them um, and maybe eventually go for Bulgaria. Now, if I'm going to attack, actually, I should say when I'm going to attack some Roman um, land, or I should say Roman um, vassal land, I think Bulgaria would be the best spot, because if I start from the coast, I might be in trouble of, uh, like, if I go on the coast and my army is here, they can always counter and come in here and mess me up, which wouldn't be very ideal. And therefore, I think if I go straight to the head of the dragon, I have a bigger chance of uh, protecting my land. Even if maybe after that I lose that army or uh, it, got, it becomes a very grindy war, my lands will still technically be safe. Faction destroyed Arabian Riders. Okay, there's not... That's not a concern for us. Yeah, I'll just keep recruiting for a while now. <clears throat> we have great public order here. Which means that... Oh, the growth has actually went up from 19 to 21. Which means that... What? 69... No, 59. Yeah, in a couple of turns, I think, we'll be able to build a workshop here. Let's keep on recruiting some men. Um, oh, replenishment has also gone up a little bit. So three, five turns, realistically. <clears throat> and I'll have the full lineup here. I have a lot of skirmishers. I need more spears. And I was just curious, I can't remember. Charge bonus 21. Charge bonus, what? Four? What the fuck? When did this happen? Didn't these guys have more charge? Didn't they have like almost 30 charge? What's going on here? Was this maybe... This is weird. Oh well, whatever. Let's get a couple of more. How much is the upkeep? 116. Okay, so no biggie there. No biggie there. Uh, these guys have three armies. Two at my border. I should... Oh, did they destroy? Yes, they did. Fuck. They're getting stronger and stronger. And they are at my doorstep, which I don't like. But at the same time, there's not much I can do about it. So I better kiss their fucking ass for a while. Good and noble friend, what an honor you do us. Come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. Okay, whatever. So we are recruiting. There's not much else that I can do. I'm 
gonna send my spy to Bulgaria to see. What kind of an opposition? Yeah, we don't have money for that. Um, we're facing there. Touch of Aquitaine. Shut up. Be welcome, you French dog. <sighs> yes. So what is the purpose of this here? Yes, I wanted some money. Wealth from commerce, wealth from agriculture. One more. Well, which one is? Oh, this is going to give me plus uh, plus six percent melee. That's not bad. Plus twenty percent wealth from agriculture, which I have on this land. Um, I mean, plus 20%. Let's see how much that would be. Can I see what's going on here? Uh, taxes, income. No, I can't. Oh. So usually it's, I think it's, uh, I can't because I already have one here. Catholic Parsh, okay. So what else is on the menu? Catholic Church. Okay, so this chain is off, so let's see. To public order. Some money. Research rate, food, public order. More public order, less food, research. Okay, th this, this looks good. Yeah, I'll go with a uh, Catholic missionary. And we're going to wait here. I'd like to go on this on this branch. And for that, okay, I'm going to going to need to do that in about a couple of turns. I'm gonna have six bikes. Let's get a, a couple of swords. I actually need six troops here, and I need I need cavalry, ASAP. ASAP. I'm looking for the bigger charge bonus. And these guys are lighter, I think. Yeah. So a couple of forces. We have two here. Yeah, I, it's four enough. Let's go for one more. I have six slots. We're gonna have. Oh, actually, I have three and three. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Okay. I mean... Oh, only 500! Let's fucking go. Recruit as many of them as we can, because they're very cheap right now. Yeah, uh, that's it, right? I need... Can I get more agents? Okay. I need you, my friend, to spy for me. Can you do that? I have to see what their strength is, where their th way, where their strength lies. See if I can outmaneuver them. Why did the music stop? Maybe I should uh, start it on YouTube, put in the Rome one theme. Faction destroyed. Greater Poland. Interesting. I don't know, this was very random. Probably visit the French dogs, take care of them. I have bigger fish to fry right now, but that would be a nice little. Um, thing to do. And I can recruit more. But now it's six, seven hundred. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be recruiting to have two armies, because I can I can afford it. And next turn, that I'm I'll be able to start researching the technology that I need. guys are drunk again Craft. Siege tower, battering ram, so which does any Okay, let's read this. Our military advances are research and technology in the following category. Okay, so and I have reward. Minus twenty five percent unit recruitment cost, all provinces minus twenty five percent losses when besieged. Is this a permanent thing? Because minus 25% cost is significant. And I have 9 turns. So... 7, 7... Fuck. Yeah... I have, I have to go for this, actually. 
minus 20% attrition losses when under siege, plus one, it's okay, turn, right, minus hold out time for the enemy, pre-siege, siege tower, yeah, let's go with this one. And I think I can build a, yes, workshop, beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I need the horses. And whatever pikes I can get. Yep. Go back. I think the income was impacted by this here. Okay, so Turnovo has a strong garrison, but other than that, not much going on there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that's a start. The words show wisdom beyond your years. I need your people to be honorable. Shut up. Can I get another agent? I don't think so. No. I could use another one to scout the map, get trade agreements with people. A Bela, a Mr. Bela. With two armies, I could tackle these guys. Question is, should I? I mean, if you look at it, like the only reason why I would rush the war against Rome is because of the western factions that might come knocking at my doorstep. Alliance broken. Okay, which leaves the Duchy of Moravia all alone in this big wide world. could push in deeper into these lands. I need to take care of the principality of Halik. I don't know who those guys are honestly. I'm gonna get some mangonels. Ooh. Trebuchets are the are the real deal.
I like to have a little bit more strength in this army before I go for them. What is this? Characters, events, taxes. Really? Interesting. Okay, get outside the city. Keeping my faction leader. How old is he? Oh, 37. Uh, brings me a lot of money, so I'm gonna keep him there for a while still. While I recruit my second army, and then we're gonna go for Cluj. Their armies are probably off to the east. Sure. Sure, my eye will be friend. You are honorable, worthy, and strong. Oh. I could go for a defensive alliance with these guys and then I'll just go on Rome. Which was what I intention why what I initially planned. Ah, okay. That means we can start warring a little bit earlier. <clears throat> ha! Nice. I can also go against against the papacy <laughs> four turns it would be fun to destroy Venice for the fourth crusade but they have the Lombard League on their uh, side. Oh, Kingdom of Sicily. That's not fun. I hit you because your people are known to their honor. Yeah, these guys look like they're up for some party. Could expand into north, but 
they have a decent size here. Fact is, we're gonna have to start conquering soon. And I'm afraid they're gonna counter soon. I, I have to wait. I have to wait to get mangonels. Because then I can strike in one turn without having to wait until I build siege equipment, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. So I know you guys don't like it, but I have to wait. Here somewhere. Sure, I can't see them on the map, but I'll take your money. Ah, yeah, in the north. I'm still tempted to take on these guys. Guards of the afterlife, spare my arse. Well, why do you trouble my digestion today? Because if I can take all this, then I will be self sufficient and independent. And then I won't have to take sides in the war between the Christian factions. Yeah, let's see. Before I make a move, I need I need mang mang blah, 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 mangonels. So let's just see where the winds blow us. Okay, two turns, come on! 
Meanwhile, I'm gonna still recruit some troops. Uh, I am having starting to have trouble with the maintenance, with the income, but I still have enough money to not worry about it. So that's 15. Then with two or three mangonels, that's 18. And then that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna spend more. I mean, because they these guys protect my back, I can also go ag like this against uh, these guys in the north. Just take everything that's there. I mean, t when I say take, it's like, yeah, a lot of wars, blah, blah, blah. And then wage war against uh, the western factions. I keep hesitating to go against Rome. <laughs> Where's my agent? The Papal State has a has an army here. Venice has an army here. is brewing in the west I wonder how much aid would the Papal States give Venice if I would wage war against Venice Yeah, so they have two stacks, which shouldn't be a problem because they're not together. One more turn. Yeah, let's go for Moravia right now, then we'll see. Okay, so a couple of turns and then we're gonna set out and also upgrade this settlement We'll keep an eye on the guys in the east. If, they, if I smell weakness on their part, I'll jump on them and take some land, some of their lands. 
But for now, I'm gonna focus on what's here. Yes, because it's winter we're gonna have to wait uh, two turns extra There you go. You get 50k. That's pretty cool. Okay, one more turn. I could go one on one here. But I prefer to have all the all the army. Z all the armies. Should keep an eye spring. Fuck me. There might be a rebellion here. I mean, the garrisons are full, but very limited in numbers. But I do have the option of getting mercenaries. Because if I can manage to conquer land in north, then when the fighting starts, or they're already fighting, but when it gets more serious between the west and the east, I can just be the force that tips the balance in one way or, the, or another. Faction destroyed. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Two turns, around three turns is what I need. And the next turn we will get an artisan. Artisan, art, blah, 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 blah. I'll pay the money because that's gonna keep me on their nice side for now. For my people's part, well, for my part, 
Where's their second army? Maybe it's there in the bushes. I will probably do this. Take out. Because this is the main army. Yes, okay. And let's go for the artisan. What else can we do? Military settlement. Tempor enable the building of Templary barracks, light infantry. Ah. Well, from agriculture, plus one percent tax, plus two percent tax, trading post and fisherman. Yeah, let's lean into the civil side a little bit. Last time I checked, Moravia didn't have any allies. Let's check again before we jump on their throat yeah same shit Yeah, but I can't reach them like that. Yeah. Okay, we don't have much money. Uh, okay, um, rebellion is not an issue in the east. Oh, there's their... Ah, oh, no, they ran away. That's good. Oh, that's good because the garrison will be there. They do have a strong garrison. Shouldn't be a problem for my two armies, though. Yep. Spears, a lot of spears. Axemen, again, a lot of spears, but only two horses. And I have a massive amount of horses on my side. Good. So we're going to set up this army and wait for the other one to reinforce us. Please clear. Yes. Okay. Reinforcements are going to come in from there. Okay. 
So there's either me absolutely destroying their left flank with uh, the mangonels and the reinforcements, or keep a balance, put the mang mangonels on the left, decimate what's here, uh, and then with the cavalry and the reinforcements smash this side as well. Let's do it like this. If I put this here, I'm all I'm instantly on range. Do I want that though? Fuck yeah, why not? Okay, I'm gonna put my general, a sizable cavalry force here to defend, and then the other ones there. Yeah, let's go. I think I have to disable something in the mod. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like this. Okay, I put the arches on the flank because I want them to surround them. Let's get their general. Did I kill their general?
Let's get ready for the next wave. Oh. I should get the job done. Co na tacie?
Sorry, I'm not speaking a much. No! The fuck am I doing? I wanted to continue. Oh, I could have run down more, more of them. I was so focused on uh, stopping the um, archers to fire for the friendly fire that I messed up. Oh well, we did kill 6,000 of them. And we lost less than half. Let's go for the auto resolve. Oh, fuck off. We are getting decent replenishment, okay, so let's keep the rest of the men intact. I will round them out with this guy and then go get some reinforcements. So I need... I need some melee infantry here. I have only one. Shit. 
then some melee infantry and some horses will do the job. So, auxiliary camp. Oh, I can actually start recruiting. Auxiliary heavy spear. Yeah, they're better than what I have. Royal warriors, the finest horse archers. Yeah. No. Axe warriors. What's the charge bonus? The charge bonus is not that bad. They have a lot of melee attack though. So they're good if if used properly. These guys are half the price but have a melee attack that's higher. So again, if I use them properly, they could prove to be a fine asset on the army. So we're gonna get three of those. I'd argue I'd like another horse in the army. Yeah, the the king's recruitment. Everything is more expensive for the king. <laughs> yeah, these guys are very expensive. We're gonna stay with the Hungarians. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give one more troop and then fall back. Okay, so I'm not gonna destroy you. I go for public order, temporary barracks. Okay, so this is well armed for recruitment, which is awesome. Now the Duchy of Moravia is not done. Where is that army of theirs? So fucking annoying I can't see them. It should be around here. I might be in danger if they come sieging. Yeah, I might be in trouble, so... Keeping that in mind, I'll have to do some drastic things, such as getting some mercenaries. Because there is a realistic chance... It's gonna fuck my economy up, but there's a realistic chance they will come and siege me right now. And I need some defenses to be able to do that. That's awesome. Yeah, what's cool that in Bruno we have the auxiliary camp and the barrack is that I don't have to turn around. I don't have to turn back to recruit troops unless I want to recruit more troops. Ah, you see, I didn't see that one coming. I... Okay, fuck off. Right, so they're here. But now I'm here. So, let's put these guys here, and then go for it, take them out. Is that another, what, that's not, yeah, that's Krakow, okay.
Oh, please, no. This would be a nice spot for the trebuchets. I mean mangonels, whatever. Because this is the high ground. I can use that to my advantage. They have a lot of axes, they're gonna fuck up my, my spears. So I think the wise thing is to wait for the reinforcements to come in. So I'm not going to be able to use the um, high ground. My hope is that they're going to come this way. And then my archers are just gonna out completely outflank them and fuck them up on this side. They will need um, they will need cavalry support. And then these guys will need some cavalry support here. The thing is, yeah, I have to, I have, I have to do maneuvering because they have a lot of melee, and I don't. My infantry line will be quick to break, I can assure you. Because they have axes. They they are good on they have a lot of damage and usually they have charge bonus, but I, I can't remember the, their axes in particular if they have it or not. Let's snipe their general. Ragnar.
Come on, surely he's gonna die soon. No one's getting out of here alive. Our, our infantry line is done, but luckily we have other things in the... in the kitchen to cook with. Stop, stop, stop. <sighs> Let's pick them up. Luckily, it's not gonna be... a long trip to pick them up. Okay, that's good. So we lost a thousand and they lost kind of everything. Um, I killed... can't remember if I killed their general. He surely routed, whether I killed him or not. <laughs> that's a thing for another day. But they are done. Hopefully they're dead, and I don't have to chase them down. That's gonna save me some... some trouble. And I can get rid of those expensive mercenaries. I'm gonna let them free, but now I'm gonna kill them. Right.
Let's see, I need, like, I have five horses. I need one more. No, four horses, and I'm gonna have five. And that's enough. That's enough for one army. And this guy can start doing things for himself. Uh, now, these guys are probably gonna come in and have a shot at us. Like, right now. In the next move. Fuck! Ugh. I don't have time for this shit. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this guy here. In the hopes that he will distract the enemy. Fuck me. Oh, this is bad. I destroyed the wrong building. Wow. I destroyed the wrong building. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? God damn it. Okay. Let's not go for that right now. Yeah, we gotta fucking dance around these guys. <laughs> yeah, let's see. They're gonna probably come for us. Come for this army and then probably push further in. Okay, okay, okay. So now... Fuck. Yeah. We don't really have melee infantry. I'm gonna have to dance around them like crazy. With my horses and archers. But that's gonna be in the next episode, guys. Um, maybe I should just auto resolve this shit. Yeah. Let's auto resolve it. It's less of a headache. And we're gonna kill the prisoners. We're not gonna release them for the money because I need them weak. Although, like, 2000 is solid, but I need them dead. I don't have it.
let's just give this guy everything. So I need, I can use four. I need infantry, man. I'm guessing my relationship with the Westerners is now even shittier than before. Can this army reach me in one turn? Oh, fuck no. Thank god. Ah, fuck. Recruitment is more expensive with this guy. So let's get them with this guy. Well, I don't have the money, you bastards. You're gonna have to keep paying them off now. I need some military buildings here in page because like if they decide to come come in here there's nothing I can do right now <clears throat> hopefully they'll be busy with something else okay that's gonna be it for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time. Until then, stay safe, stay clean, and always stay strong.